to verify. But, but no, the, that, that moon was nice and bright. It was huge, too, yeah. right? Especially as it comes down to moon set. So you get a view of that this morning, thanks to clearing skies. But that's not going to last. The clear skies, that is. Uh, clouds come back really through the day tomorrow, and the rain comes back as well with this next system. So here's your forecast for today. We're not looking at our for our Today, nothing. Tomorrow is when we see the rain come on in, and we'll be watching for the showers to increase through the day. Middle Tennessee, we get some rain for the ride home from work. Uh, Atlanta area, we get some rain overnight, Thursday into early Friday. Same thing in Charlotte and Raleigh, but it's rain. Now, any snow that happens in the south and east will be up at elevation, so um, it's not going to be uh, an issue for folks in the southeast this time. All rain and a quick mover, so not a ton of rain. We look at the drought monitor, and here it's been getting drier and drier each week. A lot of at least abnormally dry conditions into the south and east, so this is a good thing. We're running behind uh, close to two inches and in the rainfall deficit here in Jackson, Mississippi. We are going to get some light rain. Temperatures are going to be in the upper 60s mild um, and then when it cools down, the rain moves out. So that's good timing as well. Speaking of timing, let's see what happens. It's moving so fast, even though it might put down to quick snow, it just moves out before it's a chance to drop much at all. So your ride to the airport actually I think is okay in Minneapolis. You saw the roads look good there. In terms of airport delays today, the wind might be the only factor. It's not crazy windy in the northeast, but you know how it is if someone sneezes at Newark they have delays, so we'll keep an eye on the wind in the northeast. Uh, Boston, Philly, so far so good, and Dallas looking good as well, despite the wind here, but we'll keep an eye on it. And so that's what the south is going to get too. We need rain in the south, but this is going to be a quick mover. There'll be some rain and moisture will start returning uh, today and tomorrow. The clouds will start to be on the increase and then we get the rain by Thursday. So here's your forecast. This is early Thursday morning. You're fine for your commute tomorrow morning, but through the morning, the rain starts to increase through the area. Jackson, Memphis, uh, Nashville. We've got rain for the ride home for work. Atlanta in the evening, Charlotte in the evening and overnight. Same thing in Raleigh. It comes through as rain. Could there be a little snow maybe in the mountains of Tennessee? Uh, but other than that, there is no, no cold air in place. We're not going to be looking at any snowfall. So Jackson, Mississippi, I mentioned the rain coming in on Thursday. We are close to two inches below average, so we could use a little rain. We're going to get it so far this year. We've only had an inch and a third around Birmingham. We're at more than three inches below average. Um, thankfully, we are going to get a little bit of rain out of this, but not enough. Just too quick moving to really get a tremendous help there in the drought monitor. All right, Memphis for us, the timing is the morning commute or the tail end of it. And then throughout the day, off and on showers. I don't think it'll be a complete washout of a day, but all day you'll have a chance of getting some rain clearing out as you get into the uh, late evening where temperatures are still moderate. They don't really drop until all the precip moves out of the area. All right, so we're, you know, obviously talking about the Super Bowl, but we're also talking about our pets and, you know, how they need to, to prepare for the cold. We're deep in the heart of winter. Most of us, all of us at this point are ready, right? Our jackets are, are out, our thermostats are turned up, but what about your pets? Our furry friends need to be ready for the cold too, and you can help, and here are a few tips. So if your pet likes riding in the car, and I know lots do, just make sure to never leave them alone in the car, even if you think you'll be right back. Temperatures can drop inside really quickly. And unless you are absolutely sure that ice is thick enough, you want to avoid frozen ponds. Pets can fall through the ice just like us. They can get hypothermia just like us. And you don't want a wet pet in the winter either. So if your pet does get wet, wrap them in a warm, dry blanket. And if you have a cat, let's talk about the cats. You know cats like to wander outside. So you want to restrict their access to the outdoors in the winter. They can become disoriented if the ground is blanketed with snow. They can get lost and they can actually freeze. Now this next one is important. You want to make sure that you keep antifreeze, rock salt, and other chemicals away from your pets and their paws. We don't want them licking dangerous substances that can do them harm. It's also a good idea to let their fur grow thicker and longer in the winter. Have an appropriate jacket or coat to keep your pet warm. Cover their paws with booties and occasionally check for any bleeding or cracked areas. And lastly, this one is good all year round. Make sure your pet has an ID tag. It's a little easier to get lost in the winter when there is